up, everybody? Welcome to the iProv vlog. As always, I'm Jordan Smith, VP of Sales and Marketing with iProv, and I've got Patrick Laughlin with me. What's up, Pat? How are you? What's up, Joe? How are you today? I'm good. You feeling motivated? Uh, yeah, always. You know, it's uh, it's the topic of the month, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. So today, everybody, we want to talk about um, uh, incentives as great motivation tools. This is something that we try to practice as often as we can. And I know it's sometimes a kind of a, a touchy subject just as far as how to go about it. So today we just want to talk about the way that we think about incentives as motivation tools, right Pat? Yeah, I think uh, one of the most important jobs for uh, e executives in any company is designing sort of a compensation and incentive plan. Because uh, if you're intentional about it, you get far better results uh, and you get, uh, you, you know, you sort of leverage the dollars that you um, pay your people um, to, to, you know, achieve the goals that you set out for the company. When you can tie a compensation plan directly to, um, you know, performance against a set of goals, once again, sort of having that bigger vision, uh, it, you actually get sort of a multiplier effect on your dollars, believe it or not. So it, it, compensation, incentive plans, whatever you want to call it, it they are crucial. Um, and, 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 you know, if you need evidence of that, just, just you know, go look and see what um, Warren Buffett has to say about the way that um, Berkshire Hathaway uh, you know, builds compensation plans for its top executives. Uh, that kind of thinking goes all the way down through those organizations and those are some of the most successful organizations on the planet. So, uh, you know, once again, uh, it's crucial and the way you set it up uh, it can make a huge difference in the long run. So. Look at monetary and it doesn't even have to be monetary. You know, this is where it goes back to kind of what, what motivates your employees? Like how well do you know them? Um, an extra 50 bucks that you Venmo them or, or put it on their check or hand them in cash to some people might not mean as much as giving somebody a half paid day off at the end of the week as a surprise, you know, that's an incentive. So I know a lot of business owners are, well, I'm, we're really strapped on cash. You can find some creative ways to incentivize people within the organization that's not not cash in hand you know well the other thing i think i think that it comes down to uh having a real relationship with the people that work for you so you know what's important to them because you're right sometimes cash is not the most important thing sometimes it's uh you know i want a ticket to a conference or i want some time off to spend with my kids or uh, i want some other sort of opportunity uh, and i also think it comes down to intention because i think that every good incentive program has basically three characteristics that lead to success. I, I think it's uh, a, a clearly understood behavior that is required for success that ties into your core values, which once again is part of the vision for the overall company. And and everyone should sort of understand those. In fact, we, th we say you should hire, fire, and promote based on your core values. So that, that's number one. Uh, I think number one, number two, sorry, uh, is that you know, sort of that definition of success has to be quantifiable and achievable. It's okay if it's a stretch goal, but you can't put it so far uh, out of attainment that, um, that, that they never hit it. In fact, you should want it to be something that they get to. Well, uh, and then the idea of everybody has a number, right? Yeah. As a leader, sometimes you look at a position and be like, well, I don't know what a good metric for success is. Sometimes kind of working backwards and saying, well, let me find different ways to incentivize my employees. Sometimes just doing that will help you as a leader quantify what success looks like for that position. Have somebody up front answering the phones. Um, you know, how many, how many rings does it take before somebody picks it up or what's the answer percentage? I mean, you could play around with a lot of different things, but I like this, everybody has a number uh, mentality and that, that the measure of success is quantifiable and achievable, even though if it is a little bit of a stretch goal, it's it's not too far out where they look up and they say, oh, well, I'm never gonna hit this, I'm not even gonna try. Well, and, and, and I, I've even had success with uh, sort of incentive or compensation plans on a sliding scale, you know, uh, especially if you are setting stretch goals. Um, you know, if, if you get to 70 or 80% of the stretch goal, chances are you are a lot farther along than you were before, uh, and so, that's a way to sort of make it achievable and allow you to sort of set, um, you know, sort of bigger expectations. And then the, the final part, which we've really already talked about is make sure it's an incentive that each team member cares about. Mm -hmm. And this is where 
having those relationships, whether you're a senior leader and you're dealing with sort of folks in the middle, uh, or you're dealing directly with you know the people that are on the front lines every day, having a relationship that is uh, deep enough and strong enough where you can build clear incentives on an individual basis that are things that they desire, um, you know, as opposed to just a company-wide blanket policy about incentives, uh, makes all the difference. Because what motivates you, Jordan, is different than what motivates me. Um, and, and the things that I want uh, at whatever stage in my life I'm at versus the stage of life that you're at could be completely different. Uh, and so I think it is really important that you design these plans on an individual basis, um, but that you're designing them with sort of big company uh, meta goals in mind. Absolutely. And um, also playing around with different ones. If you're watching this and say, that's great, but I'm really scared to get locked in in so-and-so X amount when I haven't even been tracking that metric before. Um, what, what we do a lot is just play with it. You know, hey, this month we're doing this. This quarter we're doing this. That's okay. Set the expectations that this is going to be kind of a test run that'll give you a good opportunity to see how that works for you as an organization. But it'll also give you an opportunity to see how excited your employees get about it. One of the one of the small things that we found is, um, you know, we were just uh, we were surprising people with something off their Amazon gift list. Some employees love that. Some of them wanted cash. Some of them said, hey, thanks for sending me a, a, you know, new ear pod attachments every time we hit our goal, but I kind of like to take Friday off <laughs> every great once in a while. Yeah. Okay. So feel, be okay with customizing it and also setting expectations that, hey guys, this is something we're going to try out. It keeps it fresh. It keeps it exciting. And it'll give you some information like Pat said about getting to know your employees a little bit better. Yeah. So uh, it, I guess the two key takeaways when we're talking about incentives plans is uh, think globally in terms of the goals for your, your company, but, you know, sort of act in, uh, act locally, you know, uh, tailor the incentives to the company goals, uh, but tailor them to the individual uh, team member. And then second is test, 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 yep. uh, and, and test in the open, you know, be transparent that uh, you're trying to find the right balance uh, and that you won't get it right the first time. If you're encouraging them to fail, they should give you the freedom to fail there too. Absolutely. I love that. That's a great point to end on. So uh, everybody that's listening, watching this, uh, uh, motivate us a little bit. Our best incentive are those like buttons. Uh, you know, click those likes, subscribe, comment. Uh, we'd love to know kind of your thoughts on this topic and some different things that you've done in your office for incentives. A lot of the times our best ideas come from talking to people that are way smarter than us. Now I know there's a lot of you guys out there, uh, hopefully more than not. So let me know, let us know in the comments what you're doing uh, to incentivize your employees outside of their regular comp plan. Pat, thanks so much. Until next time, peace peeps. <laughs>